Hi, I'm Maria Nagaga, and welcome to Co-Conversations. I'm here with Taylor. Hello, I'm in Taylor Mullen. Um, I work for Microsoft. I've been working for Microsoft for just over four and a half years now. And uh, this is Introduction to Tag Helpers. So we've actually, we've been working at Microsoft for the same amount of time. Have we really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. We've been here for too long. I know, it's been so long. It's, it feels like just yesterday though. I know, started. I'm just like, I'm for like, how long have we been here? And I'm just like, four, five, five years? I know. Oh God. So I'm really excited about this talk because yes. I do see tag helpers in my applications, but yeah. I don't think I'm utilizing them that well. Perfect. So I'm really looking forward to this introduction. This is awesome, yeah. So hopefully by the end of this talk, you'll know why they exist, what they're good for, and how to use them. And uh, it's a great starter to kind of get into the world of tag helpers. Okay, I'm excited. So let's, let's do look at it. some code. All right, so we're going to hop over here to Visual Studio 2017. Okay. And this is what I'm doing all my stuff in. And um, there's a few little acquisition steps to make sure that um, Everyone watching this can also use exactly what I'm using. Yeah. So check down in the show notes to make sure that you kind of get on the same the same like interface that I'm using. Okay. Um, so tag helpers, Razor. In Razor, it's a templating language at its core. So okay. in the past, in MVC, you looked at a page like a login page that looked a lot like this. You have at symbols to intermingle between. C this is kind of what you used to do, and. But the end step of this is you kind of get a page that looks like this. So you have a login page. Yeah. Um, you have to do a lot of work here. So when you render a form, you want to make sure your form posts to a controller and make sure it posts to an action. So you typically will call into some sort of C sharp method. Okay. So in here we have HTML be begin form. We're passing in our action. We're passing in our controller. Um, all sorts of stuff here. Now this worked for really, long, but. There's a lot of problems too. And this is where tag helpers came in, came to save the day. Okay. So as you see here, this is login underscore old. So I just kind of copied and pasted this into the default template to show you what it used to look like. Okay. This is what the new template looks like. It looks a lot more like HTML. It totally does. Okay. And, that's, and that was one of the things we got because okay. we would always hear from users like, okay, what is this validation summary even output? Exactly. I have no idea. So how do you write CSS? How do you write JavaScript for that? Yeah. Well, you run your page once and then you finally know. Okay. So one of the values of tag helpers is it's a way to run C Sharp to participate in the rendering of HTML elements. So we have this, which is purple, and it's we're running C Sharp to, to kind of do the same thing that we were doing here with begin form, but in the form of an HTML tag. So is everything in purple a tag helper? Yes. Oh, okay. So this is used. This is enabled by Visual Studio, All and right. um, by default you won't actually get this. You need an extension today to do this in okay. the current version of Visual Studio 2017 that I'm using. And again, check the show notes to <laughs> find out how to get that. <laughs> okay. Um, but yes, Visual Studio highlights all these to make sure you know exactly what is a tag helper and what isn't. All right. Um, as part of the team, though, not every like we got a lot of feedback saying not everyone uses Visual Studio to get this wonderful, nice coloring. Yeah. And so we decided as a team to say, okay, if we are augmenting an existing element like form, yeah, and we're going to add brand new attributes to it, well, we are going to prefix all those attributes with an ASP dash. Okay, so you know it's ASP.NET. So exactly, it's okay, something. It's, it's a brand new thing. Now, if I jump over to the layout page here, we have these new environment tag helpers. We have um, script tag helpers that fall back. So a new element and then an existing element. Okay. So an existing element, we're adding a brand new attribute, ASP append version. A brand new element, we're not. All this right. This is just names. Names is equal to development. This is something brand new. It doesn't really matter that you know if it's ASP dash or not. Okay. Um, so we want to make very specific what is and what isn't a tag helper, even if you're outside the scope of Visual Studio. So tag helpers, on top of just being a lot nicer to look at, um, the editing experience for these things is great. So I'm going to jump over here back to the login old. And if I, if I look here and I'm, I see this at class, which is already by itself pretty ugly. <laughs> Typing anything here is just you're you're stuck in C sharp because that's what yeah. user is, right? But if I do the same thing and say let's look at this class attribute and start typing, I get all this wonderful IntelliSense. I know. Those are so useful. It's so good. It's so We've useful. done so much work to make <laughs> this what it is today. Okay. Um, so it pulls in all your CSS and you kind of get all the valid all the valid IntelliSense that you could possibly ever want. Um, same thing if you were to add another attribute to it, you get the same thing. So this was a problem with old HTML helpers yeah. and kind of the old way of Razor. In the new way, well, if I want to add like a class to this guy, I can simply just type here, 
type class. Oh, and then I get that. all these guys back up here. It's, that is nice. It just works. And then if I happen to have an existing element like with label, well, I can get all the other various attributes that can actually apply to that label. That makes for such a good dev experience. It really does. It really does. Thank you for all the hard work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, so another thing is, on top of just attribute IntelliSense, we also allow for element IntelliSense. Okay. So we've added a few other elements here. So there's cache, for oh. instance. So I got that nice, I'll retype that, cache. So you can see that, Yeah, right? that's pretty cool. A um, lot of stuff here. Uh, these are tag helpers, but these are the MVC tag helpers. Okay. Tag helpers in their own right are this underlying system that enables you to run to run C# -sharp on HTML elements. All right. Um, us on the MVC team, we wrote a lot of tag helpers that enable all this specifically form, div, label, yeah. all these ones that you're seeing in front of you right now. Okay, so I actually always thought that when I thought of tag helpers, I thought of MVC. So, oh. so I was one of those people that you just totally. described. So there's a whole other world that I haven't been exposed it's a to yet. Whole other world. Okay. And with these things, you actually don't even get these by default. Okay. So when you add tag helpers to your project, um, first you need to add a library that includes tag helpers. So in this case, it is the Microsoft.ASP.NET Core.MVC.Tag Helpers package. Okay, so, so you just added as a NuGet package. It is, and it's actually if I dive into here, I think I can actually see this as one of the right here as tag helpers. It is something that is included when you use the default MVC experience. Okay. But even doing that isn't enough. You need to do one more thing. And that one other thing is you need to make sure to tell your views that they can use the tag helpers. So if I jump over to view imports here, I see this add tag helper statement. Oh, so if I had, and, and not to jump ahead, but if I had my own tag helpers, that's what I'd have to do as well? You would as well. So okay. if you had your own tag helpers in your project, you would do add tag helper, every, every tag helper star, yeah. and the assembly name, introduction to tag helpers, in this case is what the assembly is for this okay. project, just by chance, but that is the assembly name. In our case, it's Microsoft ASP.NET Core and VC.Tag Helpers. Okay. Cool. And kind of the value there is you don't want to include a random library and then just have everything fall apart because yeah. tag helpers are very powerful. Um, now, the same thing is true if you want to remove tag helpers from okay. your system. So let's say you accidentally add something you don't want. Well, you can kind of go over here and you can just say, oh, I don't want this form. So if I have over, over here, I can see that it's Microsoft.ASP.NET Core.MVC.Tag Helpers.Form Tag Helpers. Yeah. Right? I can remove that. So I can do at remove tag helper. Instead of doing star, I can just say, Microsoft.ASP.NET Core.MVC.Tag Helpers.Form Tag Helper. This is kind of a lot, but <laughs> yeah. we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> but as you see that, the second I finish writing it, it unhighlights. Oh, oh, yes. So okay. it's no longer a tag helper. So you can kind of pick and choose what you want. Oh. Um, and to, if you want to be even more explicit, because we kind of jumped on this a little earlier, saying not everyone uses Visual Studio, not everyone gets this beautiful purple IntelliSense. Yeah. Um, there's a way to be even more explicit. Okay. Um, and this is with at tag helper prefix. Oh. So whatever I type here will then be a requirement for anything to even be considered a tag helper. Okay. So I can do th colon, as you notice as I start typing, everything unhighlighted. Oh, wow. So if I want to make this form a tag helper again, well, I can do that, but I have to prefix it with oh. th. And, if, and this is a kind of a really nice way to see all the tag helpers that are in this system. That's really cool. Yes. That is oh. such a cool, so if you think about a new dev who's coming onto the platform, that is such a cool way to teach them. Totally, yeah, because okay. they can instantly find out what is available, what can kind of have advanced functionality. Okay, that's really cool. Um, yeah, so that is my introduction to tag helpers. Yeah, so that's really exciting. I am more excited and more informed about tag helpers. Nice. But we did mention a couple of things, and in our next video, what will we be exploring? So as I mentioned, this is tag helpers are kind of like this underlying system, yeah. and as us as MVC, we actually had our own. So in the next video, you'll be able to write your own tag helpers. And I encourage everyone watching to actually hop over to github.com slash ASP.NET slash MVC, and there is a source folder here, and of course, our tag helpers. And um, is there any documentation that they can go and look at as well? There is, yes. So if you just search uh, just ta tag helpers, yeah. ASP.NET core, you should get right here in the very first link. Oh, that is so good. Like, it's, it's, that's amazing. Did yes. you write this, Docs? No. Um, I think, so I helped write some of these guys, um, but I definitely assisted in reviewing all of them. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, so thank you so much for coming, and I can't wait to learn more about Tag Helpers in our next video. Oh, thank you for all having right. me. All right, bye. Bye.